بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with amnafidus kan tayyib wa amalan mutaqabbilan May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon our souls and bless us to practice the knowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon us and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the muharramat Ayyul Ahbab Al-Hasan Al-Basri Rahimahullah Ta'ala said One who acts without knowledge is like the one who travels off the path and the one who acts without knowledge corrupts more than he rectifies So seek knowledge in a way that does not harm your worship and seek to worship Allah in a way that does not harm your seeking of knowledge For verily there were people in reference to the Khawarij, the extremist, who sought to worship Allah but abandoned knowledge until they attacked the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam with their swords. But if they had sought knowledge, it would not have directed them to do what they did. Ayyul Ahbab, this statement of Hassan al-Basri, rahimahullah ta'ala, is very profound and it has great relevance for us today. Because as the great Imam said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said, one who acts without knowledge is like the one who travels off the path. And the one who acts without knowledge corrupts more than he rectifies. So here, the Imam said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, that the person who does not, uh, who, who does actions without knowledge will be misguided. And in addition to that, and this was a statement which you will hear constantly from the ulama in reference to the, the salaf that they used to make this statement, that the one who acts without knowledge corrupts more than he rectifies. Yufsid akthar min ma yuslih. So the person who has no knowledge or little knowledge, and they try to command the good and forbid the evil, for example. Often, more often than not, they do more harm than good because they don't have the tools to distinguish between that which is good and that which is evil. Or how to implement prohibiting evil. They don't have the fiqh fideen. So this is where you see the great harm in not having knowledge. And the danger of trying to act upon that which you don't have. And this is the case, Ayyul Ahbab, we see with some of our brothers in the jama'at. For example, the jama'at that goes around, they go and they call people to the salat. That's their main pillar, is they want to bring back people to the masjid. And this is beautiful. It's a beautiful and good thing to want to see your brothers and sisters in the masjid. But you should begin your call with Tawheed, with calling to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, correcting the people's aqidah. And of course that can be done in the masjid. And first and foremost should be done in the masjid, bi'idnillah. However, what you find as a characteristic of this group is not only that they focus on that, but they do not focus on knowledge. How many times have you seen their jama'at with new Muslims and people who have been Muslims uh, their whole life for 20, 30, 40 years who have no knowledge, who speak. My dear respected brothers, today we're going to give bayan. Today we're going to talk about this. They talk about the same topic and a lot of times the people don't even know what they're talking about. Meaning the caller doesn't know what he's talking about. So this is the danger of acting without knowledge because you don't raise a community based on ignorance. Nor can you without knowledge, invite people to that which is good because you do not know truly what is good and how to get there without the tools of knowledge. How many times have we seen brothers who were eager to lead the prayer, who maybe did not recite Surah Al-Fatiha properly, but yet they were the first person to try to push themselves forward. And I recall a true story in which we prayed when I was a new Muslim and one of our brothers, may Allah forgive us in him and bless us in him, he was a fairly new Muslim himself. And there were plenty, there was 
people there who were had memorized the whole Quran. However, the brother, when the people wanted to call to prayer, they allowed him to go, or he kind of pushed himself forward. And the people accepted that, thinking that it would be okay. But I will never forget that during the prayer, the brother had made a mistake, and the people said, Subhanallah, 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 which is an indication, in accordance with the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if there's a mistake in the prayer, for the person to uh, correct that mistake or be aware of that mistake. You, you, this is how you notify the Imam that he's missed something from the prayer. This brother didn't, was unaware of that. And he turned around during the prayer and said, huh, and may Allah forgive us in him. But this shows you what? The danger of not having knowledge, that you can destroy your prayer. And the next point, Imam al-Hasan al-Basri rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned in the statement, he said, so seek knowledge in a way that does not harm your worship and seek to worship Allah in a way that does not harm your seeking of knowledge. For verily there were people who sought to worship Allah, meaning the Khawarij, but abandoned knowledge until they attacked the Ummah of Muhammad وسلم, meaning they attacked the Sahaba وجمعين, with their swords. But if they had sought knowledge, it would not have directed them to do so, to do what they did. Ayul Ahbab, why is this relevant for us? Because the Khawarij still exists and the Takfirin, who uh, the various uh, people who have deviated in the issue of Takfir, who have a relationship with the Khawarij, who share some characteristics of them, more often than not, have little knowledge. But they have zeal. And they're eager. They want to practice the Sharia. They want to see everyone ruling in accordance with the Sharia of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is a good thing. However, when you don't have knowledge, and when you're extreme, and when you call to violence, and when you call to deviance, and that when you call to... Uh, bloodshed, spilling blood, and, and the taking of people's property, then you've deviated. Then you've gone to extremeness. Then you follow the sabil of the khawarij. And this only happens with knowledge and khalal and minhaj. This only happens with a deficiency in knowledge and a deficiency in the correct methodology or methab for implementing, implementing da'wah and propagating the religion and those conditions of the religion. And so we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with knowledge, bless us with ilm nafiyah, wa rizqan tayyibah, wa amilu mutakabbinan, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad.